Time to play with some clay. All right, I got uh, some monster clay today. It's an oil-based elastic clay, and this is a uh, gray. This is premium grade here, and it's five pounds of clay. It's, it comes in a its own little bucket, but I'm going to take it out of its bucket. I think I'm going to try anyway. I've never had this stuff before, and I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm going to cut this out of the bottom, this thing, and see what happens. I uh, cut a little piece of the clay out just to see what it was like, and I mean a real small piece. It feels pretty good. Anyway, I'll come back. Well, I managed to cut it out of its uh, container, um, and that's so that I can heat it up and uh, uh, cut it into more manageable pieces. Uh, I'll uh, put it under the uh, light uh, that I have over my uh, container for clay and heat it up for a couple hours and see what happens. Alright, I've got it in uh, this little container that I've uh, supplied for it and uh, i got some tape in the way here. I want to put it right directly underneath the light. Got a lot of crap here in my studio. I haven't been in my studio for almost three weeks now, and uh, just I've had some skin problems. I don't know exactly what's causing it, but uh, it's been a pain in the butt. But it's getting better, and uh, it, it, it's what happens when you're get up there in age, I guess. I'll be uh, 74 this month, so it's it happens. You learn to live with it. But anyway, I'm just going to leave it underneath this 100 watt bulb in this swing arm lamp, and we'll see what happens in about two or three hours. And uh, I'll come down and hopefully cut it up with this uh, uh, drywall. Uh, cutter and uh, see what happens. All right, be back in about three hours. All right, I've cut my first piece off. It probably didn't uh, warm up enough to make a difference, but I figured what the heck, might as well try it. It was cold because it had been in a, a, a delivery truck and then it was in the post office. And it was cold, and uh, it was very hard, but it seems to be cutting pretty good. It is picking up a lot of sawdust here. I don't know what that's from, probably from the last sculpture I had on here. Anyway, I like the color of this clay. And it doesn't have a real offensive smell either, and a lot of clays do. That's odd. Where's all this wood coming from? I think I'm going to have to put me down a cutting board so I don't have that problem. There we go. Now this barely is wide enough, or deep, uh, you know, wide enough this way to cut through the whole piece. This is a big, thick piece of clay. But this uh, drywall uh, spreader, or whatever they call these things, Perfect for cutting this into smaller pieces. And the reason I cut it in smaller pieces is so it heats up faster. And, and since it's winter here in Montana, 
and last night it got down to 18 degrees Fahrenheit. I need something to uh, make it warm up quickly. Now, I guess you could keep it in the tub that it came in. Heat it up and just uh, scoop out what you need, but this just works better in the long run. And this uh, drywall tool makes it so much easier to cut apart and you're not directing your hands doing it. So This is what I do with the J-Mac too. I mean the J-Mac comes in a 10 pound flat block of clay and this is the way I've always cut that apart too and uh, it just makes it easier. bucket here. What I'm thinking of doing is doing a sculpture of a mountain man standing on a pinnacle of rock with a wind blowing from behind as he looks out over a uh, green valley below and uh, I did one a long time ago I'm going to use it as an example of what I'm going to probably do. I'm not going to do it exactly the same. Because, quite honestly, I would rather have a little more interest done into the clay. Um, but I'm going to probably do this mountain man standing, like I said, on a pinnacle of a hill or a mountain or some rocks. And uh, I'm thinking about using 24 inch uh, two farm armature, but I want to work out the uh, design first, small, so that when I go large, it'll be more planned out. All right, that's the clay, all cut up and ready to be softened up, and I'll probably come back tomorrow and work on the uh, figure. Right now I'm waiting for some construction guys coming over. The uh, I found a bunch of wasps in my ceiling above my uh, bedroom, and I couldn't figure out where, <coughs> where the wasps were coming from. For almost a, well, almost a half a month, and I'd kill about 20 wasps a day inside the house, and I couldn't figure out how they were getting into the house because I never leave my windows and my doors open. So, and the windows have screens, so they couldn't get through there. And it turned out there was a little tiny hole in the ceiling. They'd actually eaten away the uh, plaster of my ceiling. <laughs> And there was just a paper-thin piece of uh, plaster up there, and they were going through that hole. And so this week I've had two guys coming over and cutting out that hole and getting rid of the, the uh, nest up inside the uh, rafters between the uh, plasterboard and the, and, the sea, uh, and the roof. And uh, it's taken a, a couple of days of... Uh, plastering and now they're going to get ready to spackle the area 
So I'm waiting for them to come by and I can't do this while they're there. So, so I'll uh, pick this up uh, tomorrow or the next day. And uh, let's see, tomorrow's Friday. I don't work on Sunday, no matter what. Well, unless I'm doing a show and then I got to. But uh, I'll be here tomorrow, I think, and work on the uh, figure. This is the uh, wire armature that I'm going to be using. It's from uh, Sculpture Depot. And uh, it's fairly cheap to buy. It's a ready-made armature. And uh, I just have to uh, bend it to my uh, proportions. So anyway, uh, that's going to be it for today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.